Hey everybody. Well, all the replay people, what's up? It's Nika. And let me get this shared in my group first. Because we got some important announcements that I'm going to make. Some things that's coming up. So, first, okay. First announcement is I'm starting um, this daily show. Um, not like a show show, but maybe just like a Facebook live. So what I'll be doing, like I, I asked you guys to give me 365 questions. Um, now it won't be like on the weekends, but it'll be Monday through Friday. So I go live, uh, once a day and I answer the question of the day and, um, we'll kind of talk about that to just discuss that. And then also what I'm doing is, um, I will be having YouTube, so I'll put the content over there on YouTube, so it'll be a um, quick way for you guys to see the episodes. And then I also have um, a podcast, so I'll put the audio up on my podcast, so if you're driving or if you don't want to watch the video, you can just listen to the audio. So we have a Facebook Live show, we have a um, YouTube um, show, and then we'll have the podcast where you can listen to the audio. So all of that is coming up, and I'm pretty excited about it. So today is going to be our first show, and then, of course, we'll have it Monday through Friday. And I'm thinking it's going to be a, probably around the same time. I normally like 2, 2.30-ish. Two That's the time I like. Um, I normally like 2, but I had some clients today. So um, I normally do the 2 o'clock. So today's question was about client. How to find clients, what's the best way to get clients. Um, just all about clients. Okay, so the, my best advice to find clients is Facebook group. You know, I talk about those all the time. That's why I find every like I connect with so many people in Facebook groups. So what I do is I stay relevant, consistent, uh, consistent, and just provide value. So um, I always I post and I find three groups that I really like. Um, and then I always post in those groups at least once per day. Sometimes it's more than that because, you know, I can go crazy. Uh, and then, but I also provide value in those groups is I answer questions. Um, um, I just talk to people. So, but Facebook groups is, um, is my number one way of, as far as how I get, um, potential clients. Now, um, the second way I, um, get potential clients is, um, through, um, reaching out to people. So like cold email, cold messaging, um, just talking to people and letting them know what I offer and how, um, I can help their group. So, um, I know I, um, have a cold email, like template that you guys can use. So I use that, send that out to a couple of people. And then, um, you know, you can get some potential clients that way. Um, I don't, I know a lot of, I know some people have found success with Upwork. I don't really use Upwork or Freelance or anything like that because when I started in the beginning, it was a lot of scams on there and then it was a lot of low ball offers. Um, excuse me, a lot of low ball offers that I just wasn't willing to take. I could have went to work and probably made more. So, um, I know some people find success in those, but I just don't su um, suggest them because personally it was just a bunch of scams. So, um, what I really, what I really think will help you, um, gain clients is kind of getting through the fear. Um, I've seen a lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people and I think the, the fear is what holds us back in the beginning all the time. So when I first started, um, I was scared. I was like, like maybe they won't, um, they won't, they'll say no, maybe, um, I don't have enough experience. Um, maybe, Hey Aisha, maybe I don't have enough experience. Um, Maybe I'm new to this online thing, so I don't know all the moving pieces. I don't know exactly um, what they need. So I think if like kind of like fear is holding you back a little bit too, you have to just go through the fear if you really want to do this. So um, in the beginning, I couldn't really like ponder on my fear because I was I had I was fired, so I had to make something work. Um, so I just talked to people, and then well another tip that helped me is I just like disconnected myself from the sale. Hey Brenda. Hey mom. So um, I disconnected myself from the sale. So what I did was I really didn't care if they said no or yes, which, um, of course I wanted them to say yes, but, um, I just talked to them. Like I would have a conversation with anyone else and let them know what I could do for them. Um, 
how their business will look, how much time they'll have um, after we work together, after we start working together. Um, so I, I, I let them know a lot about how I can help them, how their business will look by hiring me. Um, and then I just kind of disconnect, disconnected myself from the um, call. I mean, not the call, but the sales. And so a yes and a no was kind of equal to me. Um, it was just another call I had to do that day. So um, I think that will kind of help you guys too because that will ha- kind of help with the fear a little bit. Um, it's just disconnect yourself from the sale. Go into the call like you're having a conversation with someone else. Um, and then just let them know what you can do for them. Paint a picture as far as how their business will succeed, how much time they will um, have to do other activities or tasks or whatever they like doing in their business while you handle the um, back office stuff that they don't have time. Um, like that time consuming things. Um, and that will help you with um, signing clients. And you, what I suggest is Facebook, maybe cold email and cold messaging. Um, but I definitely suggest Facebook groups. That is a um, big, big, big part of my business. Facebook groups, cold emailing for me, cold messaging for me. And then um, um, think about the call as just talking to someone. Disconnect yourself from the sale part. Like, don't be scared of a no. And then um, just have a conversation. Just think about it as a call that you're having with someone else that you can help. But that was today. Um, And then I'll be back live tomorrow with the next episode. If you're late joining, I was just letting the early birds know that um, it'll be a daily episode. And then I'll have a YouTube channel and I have podcasts so you can listen to the audio if you don't want to, um, if you don't have time to watch the videos. And then on YouTube, it'll, it'll be more organized too than instead of Facebook Lives, which are kind of all over the place. You can go watch the episodes that um, you want to watch or you'll, it'll be in like an order and then, you know, you can, it'll be more organized on YouTube, I think. But I think that's all for today, guys. I'm working on a lot of stuff. A lot of people have been suggesting things that they need. So I'm working on a lot of stuff that I'll have out this week. And again, if you want to chat with me, um, I'll have, I add the link and everything in the um, description or whatever you call this thing on the video. And um, just let me know. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.